day. We brought back an empty 40 foot container from the big grocery store distribution warehouse out in the Campbell Industrial Area. And that was also our first run of the day. We came in at 3.30 this morning and took that load of mayonnaise and spices out to the grocery store distribution warehouse. Put it on dock 17 and then left it. But did uh, five other movements and then went back. Or four other movements. And then went back and picked up the empty. Somewhere along the line, dispatch gave me a couple of runs. We already did one of them, but the other one we're just going to start up now. It's located in Delta 2020. We're in Delta 23, so we don't have to move far. an inch lower more often than not when I go to hook up I got to be careful and not miss the hook because uh, half the time the trailers are too high and, and I got a question about I, I guess I mentioned that we had a few drivers that were out hurt and that's that's like a wave that comes and goes you know and um, blame a lot of different things I, for instance uh, me, me and the more senior driver two most senior drivers in the company we love the old trucks and we've driven those trucks more than any other truck and there's a saying you can't teach old dogs new tricks it's it's simply because when you drive that truck for years and years you create muscle memory so now everything is super easy because you've done it in that truck over and over and over and over and over. So then you get a new truck and it's a new truck, it's nice, but you gotta develop a little bit different muscles now for that truck. For instance, this chair is huge compared to the chair I was driving in before. And I find myself getting sciatica now in my legs just because the posture is different. It's, it's just a simple thing that, you know, you get out and you have to crank down more um, landing gears, all of a sudden your shoulders and your neck hurt. And so, for instance, one of the drivers I'm thinking of was out for a couple of days just because of shoulder injury. And he was one of the guys who got the new truck that was lower and had to crank and crank. And so it's simple things like that that I think management doesn't take into account that muscle memory is something you really want to take advantage of. When you do it over and over and over, you get so good at it. If you change just the slightest thing, like give a guy a new truck, sometimes that's not a good thing because the fifth wheel in the old truck is much higher, so you never had to crank down the landing gear as much. The wheelbase was shorter, so you didn't have to crank his neck back and forth and you know look around the, the divider here, the, the seat when you know he had conformed to the seat. So it, sometimes it's not anything really horrible. It's just slight changes can can uh, mess up your old truck. Anyway, let's get this, uh, that was my rant. 
Turn on the four ways, turn on the lights, and let's get that fast idle on. So like even this getting out of the of the truck, the steps are different. So I can easily make a misstep and hurt myself. Gotta reach around here and get that. This truck is bigger, so it's laid out all the deck plates are all different. And I have an extra two feet here, so now I gotta stretch a little bit further. Just little things, but sometimes it can add up to an accident. The funny thing is, when I was younger, just out of high school, people would ask me, what do you want to be when you grow up? My favorite answer to that question is, I want to be a jack of all trades, master of none. In other words, I don't want to do the same thing over and over and over. I want to be doing something different every day. And so that was my, that was my, um, to do a lot of little things experience as much as I could I learned after about 10 years of that that it's kind of hard to get ahead when you keep changing things you got you got to specialize okay so light 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 missing light more missing lights where are we going to find ourselves a light oh, fine, hold on okay look at that light magically appeared Campbell 
industrial area is about a 23 to 25 mile drive, depending on where we're going. We're going to like the 23 mile mark. DOT scale is open. The lights are flashing. They want us in the right lane. They want us to slow down to 15 miles an hour, which is either 6th gear or 5th gear, depending on
tent and then we, it, we wouldn't rev so high, but.
the light that all the drivers give directions by. Come to the light at Campbell, because it's the one light in Campbell. <laughs> Go left or right or straight.
time of day. I, when you start at 3.30, Right around hour 11, the, the mind starts uh, starts to fade on you a little bit. Especially when it comes to detail things like paperwork. And Your truck ran well. We got to put some of that deaf fluid in here. But we've already worked 11 hours, so we're going to do that tomorrow. Three hundred thousand six hundred and fifty. You know what that means? We drove a hundred to two hundred and one miles today. It's a rare day when you drive over two hundred miles in Hawaii, especially when the average is sixty to eighty. <laughs> a little bit of work. It's basically like driving around the entire island twice. Well, we came in at 3.30, we did eight movements, we drove 101 miles, we'll be out of here by 2.30, headed home. We made this um, halibut, we, we baked it, we coated it with mayonnaise, sprinkled breadcrumbs on it real simple and then uh, we actually baked it in the barbecue we just put it on foil and stuck it in the barbecue 15 minutes it was done and it tasted great so I'm gonna duplicate that tonight with some of that uh, um, Antarctic Queen same thing coated in mayonnaise put some breadcrumbs on it stick it in the oven for 15-20 minutes and that will be dinner for tonight. Of course, we got rice and still got some of that minestrone soup. Have some of that. I don't think there's any lettuce to make salad, so we can do without. <laughs> Maybe we'll make some of uh, chow salmon carrots. That'll go good with that. But that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Aloha.